We've done a lot of spectacular trails on this channel, but today I wanted to do something closer to home and something the whole family and dog can enjoy. So today, let's hike Dry Creek Trail. And you know what? Heck it. The other thing we're gonna do in this video too is testing out the Jetson electric bike. Uh, the stats say that just electricity alone, you should be able to go 15 miles. So let's see, can this bike do it? many different starting points at this trail. This is located in Roseville, California, and today we're starting at PFE in Cucriolo. And there's things like this that you can uh, exercise on along the trail. Piece of cake. Dry Creek is part of a watershed, and there's four subdivisions, four sub-watersheds in the watershed. Right alongside this uh, trail is the golf course, and then there's a bridge that goes to the clubhouse. This trail is me and Brittany's uh, favorite place to stroll in the evening. We'll just take this bridge over Dry Creek at Creek to show you guys the clubhouse. So a lot of people were drawn to Placer County and Sacramento County in the gold rush days in the 1850s. And Dry Creek Creek it used to be dry in the summertime. However, that all changed. I love creeks and rivers. I love them so much that I was just watching a live stream on YouTube. This place is busy. I'm gonna get hit. All right, this is the uh, golf course and the clubhouse. Now, back to the main trail. One of the things I love about uh, coming here is you don't have to stay on the bike path. You can come down here and uh, go off-roading if you want to. So with the influx of people from the gold rush, agriculture here became a huge thing and they started building small dams and canals, thus making Dry Creek no longer dry in the summertime. So it flows year round. <laughs> Woo! There's turkeys right over here. So in the 1940s, this area became the stone fruit capital of the nation. In fact, right over here, the road PFE stands for Pacific Fruit Express. This is where the rail cars would come and do their thing. The last fruit packing warehouse shut down in Loomis in 2002, and there's no more livestock operation in the area. Roseville had the largest ice factory on the West Coast. The Pacific Fruit Express employed thousands of ice workers moving 300 pound blocks 24 hours a day. So there's sections of these bike trails all throughout Sacramento and Placer County. The hopes is to connect all the trails and make it one huge 70 mile loop around Sacramento and Placer County. This section that I'm on right now is this far there and back. There is gonna be all the way to Watt Avenue from Cucurillo Road. We're about to go under this bridge, but before you go under this bridge, there's a park and another entryway to this trail I'll show you. This trail is constantly evolving because it just keeps changing week by week. This is the main entryway where most people come. This is Dry Creek Community Park. You got a whole playground and stuff over here. You got a large parking area. Like I said, this is where most people start their journey. So Dry Creek Community Park back there, that's the only bathroom on the trail. There is in a bathroom where I started at Cucriolo. Just above me is Willegra. This bridge is a fairly new addition. And now you can uh, take the trail this way, which is actually my favorite. And surprisingly, it's the least traveled of this whole section. And Dry Creek Creek here is a major spawning location for Chinook salmon. I honestly think this is one of the best family-friendly trails you can do in Sacramento. It's completely flat the entire way. It's easy, you get cell phone reception. There's many access points, just a great trail. Part of the section of this trail that you'd have to drive to because it's not fully connected yet is Miner's Ravine. It's an awesome trail. It does have a lot of steep hills in it though, but that's definitely a trail worth checking out. There's organizations that get together, including the Sierra Club, that talk about how to keep the trail as clean as possible, how to keep the creek as clean as possible, and the ever-expanding expandedness of it all. Just to my left here too is remnants of an old vineyard. It's a clear day, you can see the Sierra Nevadas from here, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of famous areas in this area, uh, like Lady Bird, parts of it was filmed over there, the part where the main character jumped out of the car and broke her arm, it was just right on the other side of these trees. Also just down the road off the Garden Highway is the Old Spirit of Sacramento Riverboat. I did a video on it, in fact to date it's my most successful video, go check it out if you like. And just like that, we made it to the end of this beautiful trail. There's Dyer Lane right over there, one of the most haunted roads in California. I made a video on it, check it out if you like. And there's also Roseville's Union Cemetery. There's plots there from the 1800s, it's kind of neat to check out. And today, as always, I wore my Teton Sports Oasis Hydration Backpack. Check that out too in the description below if you like. 
It died. This is actually my dad's electric bike. This is supposed to go 15 miles and I haven't even gone that far. It was fully charged. <laughs> For anybody that's looking into this bike, it's the Jetson bike you can get it at Costco, but it does good, it did a great job, but uh, it died. I did do a lot of starting and stopping, so that probably played a factor, but uh, looks like I'm pedaling on the way back. And we're right back where we started. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. Now go have an adventure of your own. All these bugs just started making noises. I think I think I can tell what they're saying. Like, share, subscribe, I think. And right over here, this bridge. <laughs>